We're crossing the border into southern Lebanon to see what has Hezbollah been doing in the villages of southern Lebanon, embedding itself underneath civilian houses, preparing for an October 7th style attack on northern Israel. Taking years to build, these are iron doors that as you go through them, you see further down the tunnels, hundreds of meters with water tanks and equipment prepared to house those terrorists for as long as they needed. This is nothing like the towels we saw in Gaza. Functioning rooms, a bathroom, a storage room with generators. Radwan terrorists could stay here for weeks. This exit is a Lebanese civilian house in southern Lebanon, serving as cover for Radwan forces preparing to invade into northern Israel with the Conquer Galilee plan. This is what the IDF has uncovered in the past days while maneuvering in southern Lebanon. This isn't what you think about when you think about a Lebanese village. The forces found these beds here with food on the table, with equipment, go bags, uniforms, AK-47s, everything ready to go, ready to embark from this bunker, minutes from the Israeli border, into the communities of the north. In houses like this one behind me, ammunition is still being found, AK-47s, PKs, mines, go bags, and uniforms for Radwan terrorists to invade Israel. Explosions are still happening behind us and we're being moved out. But what we saw was just one of the tunnels here in southern Lebanon that Hezbollah has built for years, prepping to conduct a huge massacre on the residents of northern Israel.